Good morning, everybody. It is March 10th, 2023, and I am happy to announce that the Yoda electric guitar build is in the drawing phase. Oh, wow, that is just so wicked. Look at that. That is just killer. And these are pretty much all the parts. It's just a mock-up pickup. I've got that really hot chrome pickup. It looks exactly the same. And I might elect to go with a square input jack, and it's probably going to be in the region right there. I'm thinking. I don't know. I'm not sure. Strap button wise, definitely one behind the uh, the the neck plate on the back, and then probably one over here, maybe. Yeah, probably be like right there. But yeah, I think that's that's plenty big as far as the body itself, because I was going to go with a little bit larger of a body, but I think this is going to work. And uh, going by, I'm going to try to paint it exactly those colors, like the uh, the rendering. If you follow me on Facebook, you've already seen me <laughs> render this, and I'm going to try to paint it exactly like that with the paint. And then when I'm done, I'll go clear coat over the whole thing. But that's basically how all the paint's going to be. So it's going to be really killer. And of course I'm going to figure out the reverse, the back image. And the back image is going to be fairly simplistic. It's just going to be his shoulders with the back of his head. And then the finger. And then the two fingers are gripping that. Um, I was suggested <laughs> by somebody in the Facebook chat that it would be cool if I could make the, the lifesaver glow. But I'm not really sure I'd be able to do that. That would be such a cool thing. But I think I'm going to use the neon green paint. So it's going to have a neon uh, fluorescent green just for that part. And as you can see, it's either going to be white. Yeah, I'll probably make it white in the center. And then just have the glow green, of course. And then the, the toes and everything. And then I'll do all the continuity bits as far as, you know, the toes will go all the way in the back. And the nails go through the back. But, you know, I'll figure all that out when I get to it. But, yeah, that's cool. And then leave all this open and all these jagged surfaces. And I think, theoretically, it'd probably fit in your, your lap like a knee here and maybe a knee here. But I'll have to, I'll have to see how that goes. But, yeah, this is the neck I'm going to use. And this neck is really, really awesome. This is the last neck of this type. And look at that flaming on the back there. That is just so wicked. And I'm not sure exactly what color I want to uh, color the, the front of the headstock. I might just leave it that color right there and just use my logo as black. Seeing as how the body's going to be sand as it is. Yeah, okay, that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to paint the neck at all, the, the front of the headstock. Or the, but I might paint it sand. I'm not sure. Might go with the same colors or I might just leave it because it's got such beautiful flaming. Look at that. You get lucky with these necks sometimes. Wow, that is just so wicked. Yeah, I'm not going to put any paint on that. I'm just going to put my logo, of course, there. And it's going to be sand color anyway. And believe it or not, I pretty much have all the paints. Um, and the only black and gray is going to be like on the handle of the lifesaver. But yeah, all right. I can't wait. I've got the wood too. I could actually start cutting the wood. It's a little bit rainy today, but uh, I could try to cut the wood today. But I just wanted to share with you. Yeah, this is going to be the next build. Sometimes you have to go with just inspiration because I've been looking over all the the concept drawings that I've made in the last you know few months, and this one just just spoke to me. It just seems like it would be such a wicked thing to do. And if I get the paint exactly right, it's it's all I always try to push the paint, try to push you know my ability to make it perfect the finishes. And this is definitely going to be a radical shape. But I think it's going to fit well because I think your hand is going to go on this side right here. And you're going to be able to rest, you know, your, your hand on there. And we'll see how it goes once I cut the wood. At worst case scenario, I can always make a wall hanger out of it. But just you know, mock up a, you know, not an actual function guitar. But I think it's going to be fine. And as far as the little hair bits, I could, like, uh, find some sort of material and then put the hair out there i might do that it would give it such a 3d effect and the, you know, i'm not going to do necessarily any countersinking except for maybe like the the thicker black bits and then the pupils are going to be the black bits but i'll probably go over it with the black uh, once i do i'm going to dremel all these lines so all these lines are going to be dremeled and it's going to look really cool so it's going to have that and i'm going to hand paint i might do i'm not sure what i'm going to I might spray paint the sand first 
the sand color of that and then do the touch-ups with the lighter sand color that would probably be the one spring that I'll do is just the sand color and then I'll hand paint everything else so yeah it's gonna be pretty wicked um, that pickup that I you know I've got a similar pickup to that I'm trying to think which guitar yeah and the acrylic guitar right there and those pick those pickups are just sweet wicked all right hope everybody's having a good weekend going into the weekend so all right this is gonna be epic oh and of course I'm gonna do Yoda in a really good font on the fretboard for that but yeah that's gonna be cool and when the whites and then the eyes you know I might even I'm not sure what color Yoda's eyes are but I could always go with blue eyes that could be really cool and it could really pop I want to go with a color that's really vibrant and with all the coloring if you've seen the gremlin guitar that I did gizmo and then the, the gremlin uh, stripe guitar then you see that you know the different painting with the, the Dremel bits so. all right hope everybody's having a good day and we will see you on this one I'm gonna start this one today or tomorrow all right we'll see you in a little bit oh one last bit that I forgot to mention I've got two of these coil split remember I used these in the past build just like tap 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 it's like the spring and it wasn't working for some reason I've got two of these and I'm gonna try to incorporate that I think that would go good with the theme with the Yoda using the force we just push down push up I'm gonna try to go with that so yeah I'm gonna split the coil so it's gonna have a definite just have the one volume knob right there so all right <laughs> we'll see in a little bit good afternoon everybody it is time to work on the Yoda electric guitar build First step's gonna be to cut out the cutout. So I'm gonna go ahead and carefully cut it out and uh, we'll see where we are. So get that done and we'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> Very cool. Cutout of the cutout complete. <laughs> and ah oh man, this is gonna be, I think it's gonna be thick enough and I think it's gonna be plenty sturdy. I mean, for sure, it couldn't take like a drop. If you were to drop this thing, I'm sure this part would crack off. But uh, we're going to give it a go. I mean, worst case scenario, like I said, it'd just be a wall hanger. Uh, but still, a very cool wall hanger, especially when I paint it and everything. Um, you know, I might, you know I'll, once I cut the wood, if I determine it's not stable enough to actually be an instrument, because this is just, you know, it's an experiment. I'll just refill in that and just make it a uh, actual wall hanger so that'd still be pretty cool mm, kind of a wall hanger of a uh, Yoda there both sides and everything like that so that'd be kind of neat to have just to kick around the house even if it's not a guitar itself but I think we're gonna be able to do it I, you know I'm not 100% sure but I mean, I made the Bart Simpson uh, guitar, and that guitar is pretty small in stature. But I did put it in your lap, and it does fit very well in your lap. So we'll see. Uh, let me get the wood situated, and we'll see in a little bit. All right, got my good wood. This is a uh, three-quarter inch wood. I'm going to go with two sheets of three-quarter. So I got the, uh, the cutout on the piece of wood. I'm just going to trace it out like that, and we're going to do two with the good side facing out. And let me get back to you when I get that cut all right see you in a bit all right got the shapes cut out of the wood and it looks pretty good got the uh, the form on the piece so right now I'll figure out where to temporary do a couple screws to temporary fasten I'm thinking probably somewhere in the vicinity here maybe one there maybe one there and then maybe one over here somewhere just a temporary fasten to piece together and then we'll trace it out and then we'll get the uh, scroll saw out we'll cut it out we'll see in a little bit all right got the four screws affixed in strategic places and <laughs> let me go ahead and trace out the form get the scroll saw out and then we can cut the shape out we'll see in a bit. all right got the shape traced out looks pretty cool looks pretty killer all right let me get the uh, scroll saw going and we'll cut it out slowly and carefully and see how it goes we'll see in a little bit all right, a little progress. Uh, taking a little bit of a break. Whew, that's intense. All right, let's see in a little bit. All right, another progress report. We're getting there. Just a little bit left to go. All right, we'll see in a little bit. All right, successful cut out of the shape, and it's looking pretty cool. Uh, rain's moving in, so we're gonna have to call it a day. But yeah, we got got a lot done. We were able to get the wood cut at least. And I'll show you how it sits in the lab when we get inside. 
so it'll be pretty cool so yeah all right so let me get my mess cleaned up and we will see you inside all right take it easy all right back in the bedroom and i just wanted to show you ah the wood turned out really cool <laughs> it gives it a 3d effect that is so killer yeah. <laughs> and i think this is gonna work i think this is definitely stable enough I think that wood is definitely dense enough that when I get both pieces glued together, it shouldn't be no problem at all. Even if it gets maintains a fairly substantial bang, I still think it'd be pretty solid. So, uh, all right, let me turn the camera around and show you how it sits in there. All right, got the camera turned around. <laughs> let me show you how it fits. Oh, I think it'll fit theoretically. When you're sitting, when you're sitting, it's right there. It's perfect. And, uh, Play it around there. Woo! <laughs> Lifesaver has definitely got a mind of its own. But I think right there, yeah, be careful of that. Smacking you in the face, but I guess you get used to it. But yeah, it's more of a novelty guitar anyway. It's not meant to be extremely taken seriously. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think on this side, probably the best way when you're sitting. And then when you're standing, I can imagine when it's on the hanger. Or when, you know, when it's on the strap and you're playing it, it could be like that. Let me mess it up. Yeah, and it's, I like the fact that it's small too. The body, it doesn't take up a lot of room. Here, let me play that up just a little bit more. There we go. <laughs> yeah, see it does it. I mean, if you put your chin down, it would definitely get you in the chin. But I think right there, I think you'd have complete access. But yeah, I think it'd be so worth it though. So cool. A little Yoda. <laughs> so, there you go. Yeah, let me turn the camera back around. But yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty neat looking. Pretty interesting. Definitely a one of a kind kind of things. And I think it'll stand too once you, you know, it's all complete. Yeah, let me turn the camera. All right, let me turn the camera back around. Be right back. All right, let me show you hands. I said it'll probably stand. <laughs> you, won't, you won't need to put it on the stand stand. It would just stand on its own because its feet will be on the ground, and I think that'll be perfect. So, all right, this will conclude progress on the, uh, the Yoda electric guitar build for today. And yeah, we'll keep working on this. This is going to be a work in progress, yeah. I don't think it's going to be extremely difficult, especially with the uh, some of the ones I've done recently. Like I think the uh, the uh, stripe guitar was the most complex as far as the pattern. But yeah, once I drum all these bits and then paint everything, it's going to look awesome. So, all right, whoever is having a good Friday, and who I'm tired. It's already in the mid afternoon, so <laughs> we will see you and continue on this one. All right, we'll see you soon. Take Good morning everybody, it is March 13, 2023 and it's time to continue work on the Yoda electric guitar build. As you recall, we cut the wood last time around, this time around, today, a nice sunny day, it's been raining the last couple of days, so I haven't been able to get much done, but clean the yard up real nice, spent the morning doing that, and now we're going to work on a guitar, so yeah, alright, so I figured I'd go ahead and trace out the, uh, the pattern on the wood itself. I've got my transfer paper and let me start to work on that. Well, that way I know where everything's at and we'll see you in a sec. All right, got the shape traced over. Looks pretty good. All right, I guess the next step is probably gonna be, hmm, let me think. Right, I can actually dremel these, uh, these bits, get that done. Yeah, let me do that first before I do the neck pocket. Then the next is going to be to cut out the neck pocket. But let me do this so these are, are set in stone. So we'll see you in a little bit. Alright, just a quick update. Making some good progress on the thermal bits. Of course, I like the two of these a little bit deeper and a little bit shallower on the face parts. But once I spray the dark uh, wood, you know, the dark primer, it'll get in all the cracks. And then when I paint it, it'll just look amazing. I still gotta tweak it. So let me finish up all the Dremel pits on the front. And then I'll do the back sections. I'll figure all that out once I get everything else done. That'll be like the last step before the wood grain filler phase. But I just wanted to do this first. That way I know where everything's gonna be. So 
It looks pretty killer. Can't really see it. Let's see if I can get it in the sunlight a little bit better. Yeah, there you go. You can actually see the. And like I said, I'll you know like I always say I'm gonna perfect all these lines to get them as perfect as possible. But yeah, but the eyes turned out really good. And when they get, see, it looks mad, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, that is angry. Uh, but uh, once I get the, all that with the wood grain filler and everything like that, it's gonna look just awesome. All right, so let me continue working. I'll see you in a bit. All right, completed with the preliminary dremeling on the front with the pattern and all the shapes. Let me show you how it looks in the sun. It looks a lot cooler in the sun. And you can see the whole 3D effect of it. All right, so next step, let me cut out the neck pocket. Let me get the neck going. But <laughs> yeah, that does look pretty cool. I can't wait till I get some paint. That's gonna look amazing. And I think I'm gonna go with blue eyes for Yoda. <laughs> He's gonna have some blue eyes. I don't know if he has blue eyes for real in the actual character Yoda, but we're gonna go with some blue eyes, some bright blue eyes, and that's gonna look pretty amazing. So, all right, so let me figure out the neck pocket. Let me get the neck out. And I, you know, just got a preliminary where it's gonna go. And then we'll see in a little bit. All right, got the scroll saw out. Got the neck pocket traced out where I wanna cut it. All right, let me cut it and I'll be right back. All right, cut out the neck pocket. Let me get out the bridge and see how we are. I went with uh, two three quarter inch on this body, so it'll probably be a really thin uh, neck tendon, if any tendon at all. Let me get the bridge and see how we are. All right, we'll see you in a second. All right, got it dialed in. Got the neck uh, through the neck instantiation line, and that's where the bridge is going to go. And we don't need to go with any neck tendon at all at this one, so it's going to be really cool. It's really close. No need to cut the neck tendon. We've got ample girth as far as that. I have to reshape it, of course, because it's a little, it's not perfect. But, all right, let me do that. And then I reattach both piece, both uh, sections together. And then we can go ahead and get the neck installed. So let's do that. Let's see in a little bit. All right, got some Bondo put in there and dialed it in perfectly. And then I redrew where I want the neck pocket to go, or you know, the shape of it. So I get the scroll saw back up and we'll cut that. Then we'll reattach the neck and then we'll be ready to put the neck on here. All right, let's see a little bit. All right, got the neck pocket dialed in perfectly. Got the perfect shape. Let me go ahead and attach the neck and let's install the neck on the body. We'll see in a little bit. All right, got the neck attached and it turned out way better than anticipated. I actually sat with it in the lap and wow, it, 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 the position of it is way better than when I did the trial run, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, the Yoda electric guitar build and you can access uh, your thumb goes right to here but you can access all the frets perfectly so it's it's just amazing and I was thinking the input jack would go right here use the square input jack and then probably put the the volume knob right there is where I got the X and then the strap button will probably go like right there on the other side so yeah let me uh, go ahead and get the bridge situated get that installed first and then I'll turn it around the camera and I'll show you how it sits in your lap and where it's gonna hang it's pretty cool like I said way better than anticipated so yeah the force is with us on this one <laughs> it's pretty cool and I like the fact that the, the body is so small so all right we'll see in a little bit I got my bridge installed and like I did the string test and everything is good to go everything's lined up perfectly in the center so let me go ahead and show you where this will hang in your lap and when you're standing so let me do that and turn the camera around be right back all uh, right, let me show you where it is. It's perfect. You can see right there. And see right there. And then full access to all the frets. And I'm sitting kind of high on this chair. But you can see you got plenty of room there. And when you stand, and it's on a strap. be theoretically like right there so it's no 
no room at all, no, you know, unless, you know it's there, so you're not going to bang your head on it. But yeah, you can definitely, and it feels completely natural right there. So that's pretty cool. You got the lifesaver right by your side, so that's pretty cool. Alright, let me turn the camera back around. Alright, very cool. The uh, pickup did come today, so let me go ahead and get the pickup out and then draw out where the pickup cavity is going to be. And then dial in where the pedometer cavity is going to be and then drill all the way through both layers. And I'll see you in a little bit. Alright, very cool. I'm going to use the mock-up pickup to mark the spacings. And I decided that's plenty of room away from everything to where you can reach it good. And it's right in the center. And I'll probably just do a circle access panel plate would just be a circle. So it'd be pretty cool. So let me mark out where the pickup's going to go and we'll see you soon. All right, drilled all the way through both layers for the push-pull pot or the coil split and I marked out where the pickup's gonna go so let me get every get everything dismantled and then we'll cut through the top layer and we'll see you when I get that done see you in a little bit yeah quick update remember how we talked about the input jack is gonna go right here well, I'm still gonna go right there but I'm still gonna use the round input and I think it's gonna be a cool touch and add to it to where you see how it's a little oversized and it doesn't really fit in there but I'm going to dremel out that bit there and dremel out that bit there and fit it in. I think that's going to give it such a cool effect. So, because I'd rather have the round than square, boring square. So, yeah, that's going to be really cool. <laughs> it's going to be such a cool touch. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll, show, I'll see you in a sec. Alright, very cool. Check that out. That's going to be so wicked. Alright. Let me go ahead and cut out for the uh, pickup cavity. We'll see in a sec. I got a couple pilot holes drilled, got it separated, got my scroll saw, I'm gonna cut out for my pickup cavity. I'll be right back. All right, perfect cut out for the pickup cavity. Looks pretty good. <laughs> pretty awesome. All right, next step is to figure out the wiring. So we're gonna go, it's gonna be pretty straightforward. It's just gonna go from the, uh, the pickup to the pedometer, pedometer to the input. So it's all going to be like right in a row. So it's actually going to be really kind of easy on this one. Very close, very close to wiring, everything like that. So, all right, let me get that going and we'll see in a little bit. All right, I got the wiring figured out. It's pretty straightforward, like I said, right from, got to watch out for mosquitoes, <laughs> right from the, uh, the pickup to the push pole pot to the input jack. So let me go ahead and get the, uh, the Dremel tool all set up. I might have to get some bug spray. I'm seeing these mosquitoes starting to show up. I don't want to be bit. <laughs> so, all right, we'll see in a little bit. All right, just a quick update. Got a lot done. Uh, got the input jack dialed in. Got all the wiring. I did a uh, drill for the uh, ground wire for the bridge. Uh, let me show you what the wiring looks like. And I did all the courtesy cuts on the back plate as far as being able to access the uh, pedometer. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Got the push-pull pot, well, the, the push-in, push-out pot. <laughs> and then the channel from the, uh, the pickup to the input jack. And it's pretty good. I made sure it was all dialed in. So we're about ready for the glue phase. We're ready to glue these two pieces together. You know, pretty simple wiring like this doesn't require a lot. So, yeah, we're getting a lot done today so far. Wow, it's about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. We started about nine this morning so we got a lot done uh yeah so let me go ahead and <laughs> glue these two pieces together let me check make sure everything is perfect and then we'll glue it and have a solid body all right we'll see in a little bit all right successful glue phase <laughs> it went very well and i'll take out these screws when it fully cures the glue and then i'll fill in the screw holes of course but yeah we got a lot done today all right Pretty sweet. <laughs> and then we're ready. Uh, next up will be some body filler around the sides to fill any gaps between the two layers. And then uh, we'll start working it. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. It turned out we got a lot done today. I think this is probably getting close to the end of the progress for today. I might try to. Uh, install the input jack with the screws make sure all that's dialed in 
and then maybe do the uh, back cover plate for the pedometer but those two things and should be it and then we're gonna you know next time we're gonna figure out the uh, pattern on the back <laughs> the back of this and figure all the continuity bits as usual so all right and let me uh figure out what i'm gonna do and i'll see you in a little bit all right successful installation of the input jack that looks killer <laughs> it's so awesome ah perfect spot too boom it's right out of the way of your knees and everything all right so let me figure out the uh what i'm gonna do as far as the back cover plate for the pedometer whether i'm gonna need to whether i can countersink it or not let me figure that out here but I installed the coil split and it's gonna work good I think it's gonna be cool and because these uh, these pedometers are a little bit thicker than usual see how it's uh, very close to the top I could countersink with some metal I guess get a piece of metal but you know what it doesn't really matter because you know I'm not countersinking the uh, the back cover plate so let me just go ahead and make a back cover plate I might have one already, but just make it, I'm um, trying to think what color, probably be white. Well, one ply white or black, it really doesn't matter. I guess black would match the uh, back cover plate. Um, black, the pickup's chrome though, so maybe I'll just go with the chrome. Yeah, I might just go with chrome. Yeah, let me let me get the uh, the piece of metal and then install that, and I could probably countersink that, and it'll rest right on the top there, and I think that'll be fine. So let me let me go find some pieces of metal, and I'll be right back. Actually, get close to 4:35 o'clock. I'm just gonna call it for today. I'm tired, and then we'll start. We'll continue on tomorrow, and uh, that way we uh, make the back cover plate and continue. Yeah, I'm just super tired, so. All right, I got a little big old mess to clean up, so. All right, let's conclude progress third today. And we will see you soon. Good afternoon, everybody. It is March 14th, 2023, and time to continue work on the Yoda electric guitar. Uh, I decided to go with the metal, uh, and not paint it, just leave it blank, bare metal. I think it looked pretty cool. So I got me a shape, a lid <laughs> off a thing. And we're going to trace it and then cut out a shape on the scroll saw. And we'll see you when we get that done. All right, got the shape cut out of the metal. And it's got the shiny side on the top part. So let me configure it where I want to put it on the back cover plate. And then I'll take a pencil and I'll draw where I want it. Then I'll score with the uh, Zacto blade. Then I'll countersink it with the Dremel. So let me get a little bit of that done and I'll see you in a little bit. All right, installed the XX panel plate. It looks pretty cool. And I countersunk the screws. So there we go. All right, next step is going to put some, you know, disassemble everything and then put some Bondo body filler on the sides and get all that squared away. Then we're going to start having to figure out the back, which I think is going to be pretty cool because, uh, yeah, we'll figure all that out. All right, we'll see in a little bit. Right, just another quick update and this will conclude progress today got all the uh, body filler on the sides and on the screw holes in the front and uh, let me show you on the back I'm starting to work on the uh, just the design with the fingers and the lifesaver and the hand and the feet and the rest of his outfit and then the neck the back of the head just kind of you know just kind of a rough kind of sketch on the back there so that's going to be pretty cool and then of course you know we finished that today with the countersink on the access panel plate for the push pull pot or the tap tap pot <laughs> so but yeah it's looking pretty cool and uh like i said this will probably conclude for today that way we give the bondo plenty of time to harden and then I'll get the files and the sandpaper out tomorrow or the next day, depending if we uh, get some deliveries in the mail. And that way, uh, we'll continue going. All right, looking pretty good though. So, all right, hope everybody's having a good beginning of the week. And we will see you soon. All right, it's looking pretty awesome. I'll see you in a little bit.
Good morning, March 15, 2023. Time to continue work on the Yoda electric guitar bill. As you recall, yesterday we did the uh, body filler, or the bondo on the sides. Got all my files and sandpaper, so we're going to make this look pretty. And then we're going to work on the, uh, do the frets today. And then uh, maybe we can get as far as doing a string test today. It'd be pretty cool. Anyway, let me see when we get some progress done. I'll see you in a little while. All right, another quick progress report. <laughs> I did all the sanding and I got all the continuity bits pretty much done. Just wanted to show you how it looks. I sanded all the, uh, the side bondo filler. Let's see if I can get some, some light here without dropping it or anything. Yeah, just wanted to show you the different continuity bits as far as the claws and the cape and the head yeah it looks pretty amazing all right so now what i'm gonna do decide let's go full force into it before the uh the string test and i figured out the back bits i penciled them in and i think we're gonna go with this might refine the one i think that looks pretty good though uh the back one but yeah it's a little bit more simplistic the deeper grooves for the bottom and then the lighter grooves on top but I'm gonna get the Dremel tool out and then etch them in and then uh, once I do all that I gotta say it does look pretty killer I mean it I always I sound like a broken record when I say this but it's definitely turned out a lot better than I anticipated just you know working it trying to perfect it make it the best it can be and I might add some few here and there continuity bits but yeah you can see the little creases that I put in as far as the feet go connect to the back so let me go ahead and fire up the Dremel and then I sand it all where the screws were and refine some of the lines make them a little bit straighter looks pretty cool and I can't wait to get the green because his skin tone green is going to be different from the neon green of a lightsaber so it's going to be pretty cool and the white bits for the, the nails and then the foot and but the gray sand of his outfit it's going to be really awesome all right we'll see you in a little bit all right got the body completely dialed in I'm going to call it a day I just wanted to review today's final progress on the Yoda electric guitar Whew. been pretty much at it all day but I was trying to make it as perfect as possible and I etched the uh, back bits and <laughs> it looks pretty cool let's see if I can get it in the light somehow a little bit yeah there we go yep with the back of the head and of course, I'll probably still try to dial it in a little bit, but the hand, and I got all the continuity bits, of course. Um, you know, just where the, the front connects to the back in cool ways. <laughs> See, like uh, with the feet, and with the nails, and the shroud a little bit here and there. That way, when I go to paint, all right, we're ready for a full-on string test, and we'll do that tomorrow, actually. Because, like I said, I'm super tired, but yeah, that turned out pretty cool, huh? Yeah, <laughs> so cool. All right, hope everybody's having a good middle of the week. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's very cool. <laughs> Again, I repeat. <laughs> All right. And we will see you soon. Continue work on the Yoda electric guitar. Good morning everybody, it is March 16, 2023 and it's time to continue working on the Yoda electric guitar bell and as you can see, it's time again for some fret work. 
before the string test. I've incorporated this method of doing the uh, all the fretwork prior to the string test. That way, if there's any issues with anything, there's none at all. So, all right. So, first step is going to be, of course, to get my straight edge and my Allen tool, and make sure that the fretboard is completely straight. And then we'll tape it up, and I'll see you in a sec. All right, fretboard neck is completely straight. And as always, I'm actually going to do the fret ends first. I've got my fret end file uh, from Stumac, and uh, we're going to address these fret ends. Yeah, they're kind of sharp. So round them and make them look good. Let me show you real quick how they look prior to my work. Uh, you can see when you get fretboards, they just have the sharp ends. And you know, I think all frets need to be addressed sooner or later as far as fret ends because you know, humidity and whatnot. All right, so let me get that taken care of and I'll see you in a little while. All right, got the fret ends nice and perfect. Listen to some Van Halen, <laughs> 5150. But uh, yeah, looks pretty good. All right, let me get the fretboard taped up and we'll see you in a little bit. Oh yeah. That's good. All right, all right got all the frets uh, taped up and I marked it with my Sharpie marker. So I got my fresh 320 grit sandpaper on my leveling beam and we're gonna go ahead and put a level on these frets. See you in a little bit. Beautiful crown on all the frets, and they're all level to each other. Now I'm gonna go ahead and remark, and then we're gonna put a crown on there with my centered Z file, Steve Mac, as always. All right, we'll do that, and I'll see you in a little bit. All right, got the perfect crown on everything. I just wanted to show you. Tried to stay consistent with the same line throughout. All right, so now we're gonna go through all the sandpaper one thing. Okay, got my sandpapers started this time around with 800, 1200, 1500, or 800, uh, 1000, 1200, 1500, 2000, 2500, 3000, 5000, 7000, all the way up to 10,000 grit paper. So yeah, so we should get a pretty good shine. So next step is going to be to uh, Go through the grit sandpaper and then round over the triangle or trapezoid shaped frets because i got the crown on there and make them round and nice and brilliantly shined up so let me just show you again how they look prior to that step so you can see the mark you like i said before you try to keep it the same throughout the fretboard this guitar neck is going to play really awesome all right so let me get that done that takes a long process. Let's see, it's about noon right now. I'm guessing it's gonna take me about an hour and a half to finish this process, but we'll see you on the other side of that. All right, we'll see in a little bit. All right, fretboard is looking amazing. Fretwork completed. And as you can see, this is a dirty job. Pardon the dog snoring. Hey, bro. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, doggy cam. Doggy cam. Doggy cam. Doggy cam. Bro, you snoring. <laughs> ah, doggy. Anyway, I just want to show you how it turned out. All right, so let me peel the tape off and get it looking good and clean up all the fret dust. And then we'll be about ready for a string test. I'm excited. All right, we'll see you in a bit. All right, got a little tape off. Got my mess cleaned up. Got myself cleaned up. And I just wanted to show you how good the frets turned out. Yeah. That's always a great step to see them brilliantly shined and perfectly leveled, crowned, and polished. All right, next step is going to be install the uh, the tuners. So let me go ahead and install the tuners, and I'll be right back. All right, got the tuning keys installed, and it looks pretty awesome. All right, let me get the body back out here, and then we'll attach the neck to the body. We'll see you in a little bit. I got the body back out. I wanted to share a continuity bit that I discovered I had neglected the other day. I uh, joined these two lines because the back pants and then on the side also I filled in that one that I had. So this way it's more the continuity of it because the front, if you look at it, it's uh, you see like that and then the pants. So this already goes forward, this arm, and this shoulder goes around the back. So. <laughs> so uh, instead of uh, 
having that shoulder this connects with the leg part so that worked out better anyway so let me connect the, the neck to the body and we'll see in a little bit actually let me install the bridge real quick on the body and then i'll be right all right that's the bridge look pretty cool all right let me get attached to the neck and we'll see in a little bit all right got the neck reattached went pretty smooth <laughs> looks pretty cool oh wow i so love making guitars this is one of my favorite parts, the initial string test. And because I've done all the frets already, we should have a smooth string test. So it looks pretty cool. So I'm going to show you how it looks when it stands. Yeah, it just stands on his own. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. Can't wait to paint that lifesaver, that neon green. It's really going to pop. So. So let me put my two E strings on there and make sure all my measurements are good. And we'll see when I get that done. But Yoda. Yeah, he looks mad. <laughs> I'm gonna give him blue eyes though, that should help. Alright, we'll see. Okay, it's all my two E strings. And as you can see, it is straight dead on perfect. So that's pretty awesome. It's always a good thing. Alright, let me put the rest of the strings on there and see a little bit. It does look very cool. Very unique shape. Alright, all right, got all the strings attached and they're <laughs> it's looking pretty killer. Alright, so let me go ahead and install the string trees. As usual, I'm going with my favorite type of string tree, these ones. So let me go ahead and install them too and then I'll be right back. But yeah, that does look killer. Use the force. Alright, see that. Alright, successful installation of the string trees. Looking pretty good. Alright, so let me get all the strings up to pitch and see if I can get a little bit of intonation. Clean up my mess a little bit. Alright, and we'll see how well. Alright, got the strings up to pitch and it sounds awesome. It's very resonant, sounds pretty killer. And, uh, pretty cool. So, but first, before I show you that, Let's go ahead and install the strap buttons. And where I'm guessing for the strap buttons this time around, uh, per usual, I'm gonna put one right in the center of the back neck plate. But I'm thinking like right there should be good. Right in the center there. So let me go ahead and install the strap buttons. I'm going with the usual Dunlock locking strap buttons. And we'll see you in a little bit. All right, we did good. <laughs> and adjust the camera as always. Uh, maybe too much adjustment there but yeah the uh, strap buttons worked out good it's perfect it doesn't no neck dive at all and it's completely in tune completely intonated brand new strings so they probably stretched a little bit since I tuned it but And I really love this neck, the, the flame mapling on this neck. I'll have to show you that in a bit, but it's got such a really cool, I mean, when you look down on it, it's just complete flame maple. <laughs> One second. I'm surprised how resonant it is too, being such a smaller than you, you know, it's a smaller body shape. But I mean, it's still, this wood is just so, I love using this wood. This is like the fourth guitar I've, I've made using the same wood. And it's just, you hear how resonant it is.
whistle isn't working. Get a tear because I'm missing you. I feel alright, smile. Girl, I think about you every day now. Was a time when I wasn't sure, but you set my mind to you. True love, you know, there's one more thing to consider. Say, woman, take it slow, everything will work out fine. You and I got what it says, maybe. Say, sugar, take it slow, and the lines will work out fine. Cause all we need is just a little patience. Cause I can't do it again With a little patience Yeah With a little patience Yeah <laughs> You know, you play all these songs all your life and you you, you don't, you know, you just forget them and they just pop in there. But Anyway, guitar stretching a little bit, but yeah, and it's super light. I mean, it feels just. Let me show you where it sits in the lap. Let me, uh, let me show you how it sets. See, it sets perfectly like that. Even aside from the strap, I mean, it kind of like nestles right into your legs there. And of course strings are stretching. this uh, settle for a day or so like always and uh, if I can wait that long I'm, I don't know if I will or not but we'll see and then uh, we'll start the wood grain filler part two the ugly face part two and we'll dial it in and then we'll get one step closer to putting some primer on there and uh, you know filling in all the uh, the paint but yeah it turned out really killer I mean it's just you know, the more times you you make instruments, the... Let me turn the camera around. I'll be right back. All right, yeah. Well, like I was saying, the you know, it seems like the the more I the, the, the more I make, the better, you know, the easier it comes, the more refined my process. And, uh, yeah, this one turned out really cool using the wood that I used. And I really didn't even have to make a neck tendon. I mean, the neck tendon lines right up with both sheets, so... You know, as far as these style guitars with the the fixed uh, top load bridges, I think that's the way I'm going to go from now on. So, yeah, that turned out really killer. And I can't... Whoop. 
there I go sitting on stuff again. Uh, the uh, input jack, really cool right there. And I think that's going to work perfectly. This is going to be out of the way and with the push-pull pot. So yeah, so this concludes progress today on the Yoda electric guitar build. Which I can't wait to get some paint on there. That's going to look so wicked painted. Wow. And just the oh, yeah, I'm sure it's playing maple -ing. Wow. You get lucky with these necks. I mean, that was completely unplanned. But wow, look how beautiful that is. That's why I didn't want to treat it at all or put anything on the front of the headstock at all. And these necks, I mean, you get lucky. Amazon, $52, I think. I paid for this neck, so not too shabby at all. So, of course, dog's sleeping and snoring. Brew! Brew, you snoring! This is my other love, Emma. So, All right, hope everybody's having a good center of the week. And uh, can't wait to show you next what I got in store. There's so many guitars I want to build. I'm just begun. So, all right. Everybody have a good one. And we will see you next step. All right. See you in a little bit. Hi. Right, just another quick uh, update. I just wanted to show you from this angle. Looked pretty cool. I got my mess cleaned up and I saw it from this angle and I just wanted to document it. So. And I just like the uh, the rendering looks pretty cool. He's got to get the paint absolutely perfect and dialed in. That looks like so killer. Yeah, and it plays amazing too. Yeah, it's always a good thing when everything turns out the way you planned, if not better. So, all right. <laughs> Let me show you back one more time. Beautiful flying maple. Look at that. Wow. It's amazing. <laughs> Very cool. All well, the continuity bits on the sides, of course. But yeah. Whew. And next step is going to be the ugly phase part two, the wood grain filler phase. And then we'll put some uh, primer on here and then start the paint process, but yeah. It just turned out way better. <laughs> so cool. Oh, Yoda. So, alright, we'll let this set for a day if I have the patience. If not, then we'll start working on the old green filler phase. But I always like to give it a day to settle, that way I can make all the adjustments necessary. Not too bad from rendering to prior to paint. So, all right. Again, hope everybody's having a good center of the week. And the Yoda electric guitar build is getting there. That just looks so cool. It's going to have the blue eyes. Can't wait. All right. And we'll see you soon. All right, see you in a little bit. Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing on this ah, pretty cold, beautiful, yet cloudy day here in Central Florida? It's in the 40s. Whew. A little late uh, winter blast going on, but I'm not complaining. Seeing how it gets pretty hot here in the summer. But as you can see, it's been time to continue work on the Yoda electric guitar. And I did add some more contour bits like i said i'm not going to sand that i'm going to leave that the way it is and i'm just i'm going to clean up some of the lines of course but any of the the uh, skin parts i'm going to leave the same but i am going to sand his shroud in the sides and the saber of course but yeah it's time to make this guitar beautiful and get it sanded and looking good and maybe put some uh, some dark primer on here today so we work a little bit on that. Just wanted to show you how it turned out prior to making, taking it into the next step. Yeah, see that? That looks cool. Yeah, that's gonna be nice. And I did join the another continuity bit. I joined this line here to that, and then it's gonna because the darker shading of pant color, the tan color is a little bit darker than the lighter here. So. All right, sun's coming out. Wow, wow. Hello. Good morning. How you doing there, son? 
Yeah, let's see where you go. Oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So let me uh, do a little sanding, and I'll see you in a little bit. Completed, and I think it turned out amazing, especially all the contour bits. Look at that, that is just so killer. And we are about ready for some primer coats. Just wanted to show you. See, I left the majority of the uh, the wood grain filler on the hand, you know, all the skin flesh bits, but I did sand it just slightly, so it gives it like that whole 3D appearance. But I did sand all the, you know, the clothing and the lifesaver bits completely flat. But let me show you how, see how the skin tone bits, I still sanded slightly. So it still gives it very cool effect. Gives it like a skin flesh tone kind of appearance. Kind of a 3D effect. Yeah. So I'm going to put it on the hanger. Feels good out here. It's cold, but it feels awesome. Go ahead and see if I missed any spots. But then go ahead and put it on the hanger, and then we'll get some primer coats. And then uh, we'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> see you in a second. Alright, quick update. Got it on the hanger. I just want to show how it looks before I put some primer on there. Yeah, really, really cool. Cool bits. Good morning, everybody. March 17, 2023. Time to continue work on the Yoda electric guitar build. Uh, I didn't shift hardly at all last night. I picked it up and played it this morning, and everything looks pretty good and right in line. So we're good to go. So we may dismantle it, and we're ready for the ugly phase part two. If you watch me on social media you'll see i always do the wood grain filler step next so we'll get that going <laughs> that's gonna be pretty cool so let me uh, dismantle everything and we'll see in a little bit all right got all the parts disassembled and i got me a fresh batch of wood grain filler and as per usual i'm going to start on the sides and the back and we'll start applying some coats start making this smooth and beautiful <laughs> we'll see in a little bit Alright, quick update. First layers of wood green filler have been applied to the back and the sides and it's looking pretty good. Ugly phase part two is in full effect as always. But yeah, when I sand this smooth, it's going to be perfect. Yeah, it looks pretty killer. Alright, probably put about three, four layers on the back and sides and then we'll let that cure and then uh, we'll do the front. One, plus, one step closer to primer. I'll probably take the majority of the day doing this step because it takes a while because you have to get, in order to get into these little nooks and crannies, you've got to use the fine tip brushes, which I want to take my time and I want to try to make this look as perfect as possible right now. It's pretty good. All right, and we'll see you when I get a little bit more progress done. <laughs> we'll see you in a bit. All right, just another quick update. I just wanted to show you how good the face is turning out. And, uh, you know, when you add the wood filler, it does give a little bit of extra texture. So it's going to be really cool. And I probably won't sand this prior to painting, but I'll sand all the rest of the bits. Because I want it to have a, more of a 3D puffy look. And when it dries, it'll settle down just a little bit. But, yeah, see how it's turning out? That's pretty cool. Like, I haven't done, done the back and the sides, of course. But I just wanted to show you how cool that looks with the texture. And with the layers of paint, and I'll probably sand here and there to make it more perfect. But yeah, I just wanted to show you up close what we're going for. <laughs> and that's going to be very cool. And I just kind of came across, you know, I just happened to in invent this process myself. You know what I mean? I'm just using the, the wood grain filler like I do. So, but it's, uh, I found that it's very effective. So, all right. So I'm going to get more, a little bit more progress done and we'll see in a little bit. Yeah, just gonna show you how. And when I spray the primer, it'll get in all the recessed areas, and then when I paint over it, it'll have that shadowing effect, so it'll be very cool. Yeah. Alright, see you in a little bit. Alright, 
another quick update all the first layers still drying you can see where it's a little bit darker it's a little wet but all the first layers of body filler have been applied <laughs> that looks pretty cool ugly ugly phase part two but yeah all right so we'll let this dry and then i might add a, you know touch-ups here and there but yeah it's looking pretty cool when it's sanded I'm thinking about sanding just the clothing bits and the saber bits and leaving the texture for the uh, the skin. That way it'll give it a real 3D effect and real skin looking appearance. So that's pretty cool. Alright. And this might conclude today's progress. I'm going to go to like the guitar bell, but it might not. So. Alright. Hope everybody's having a good end of the week. Yeah, it's near the weekend. It's Friday. Season. Awesome. Awesome. Alright, quick update. First layers of wood green filler have been applied to the back and the sides and it's looking pretty good. Ugly phase part two is in full effect as always. But yeah. When I sand this smooth, it's gonna be perfect. Yeah, it looks pretty killer. Alright, probably put about three, four layers on the back and sides. And then we'll let that cure, and then uh, we'll do the front. One plus, one step closer to primer. I'll probably take the majority of the day doing this step because it takes a while. Because you have to get, in order to get into these little nooks and crannies, you've got to use the fine tip brushes, which I'm gonna take my time, and I want to try to make this look as perfect as possible. But yeah, it's pretty good. All right, and we'll see you when I get a little bit more progress done. <laughs> we'll see you in a bit. Alright, just another quick update. I just wanted to show you how good the face is turning out. And, uh, you know, when you add the wood filler, it does give a little bit of extra texture. So it's going to be really cool. And I probably won't sand this prior to painting, but I'll sand all the rest of the bits. Because I want it to have a more of a 3D puffy look. And when it dries, it'll settle down just a little bit. But, yeah, see how it's turning out? That's pretty cool. Like, I haven't done, done the back and the sides, of course, but... I just wanted to show you how cool that looks with the texture and with the layers of paint and I'll probably sand here and there to make it more perfect but yeah I just wanted to show you up close what we're going for and <laughs> that's going to be very cool and I just kind of came across you know I just happened to in invent this process myself you know what I mean I'm just using the, the wood grain filler like I do so but it's uh, I found that it's very effective so all right so i get more a little bit more progress then and we'll see in a little bit yeah just wanted to show you how and when i spray the primer it'll get in all the recessed areas and then when i paint over it it'll have that shadowing effect so it'll be very cool yeah all right see you in a little bit Another quick update, all the first layers, still drying, you can see where it's a little bit darker, it's a little wet, but all the first layers of body filler have been applied, <laughs> that looks pretty cool, ugly, ugly phase, part two, but yeah, alright, so we'll let this dry, and then I might add, a, you know, touch ups here and there, but yeah, it's looking pretty cool when it's sanded. I'm thinking about sanding just the clothing bits and the saber bits and leaving the texture for the uh, the skin. That way it'll give it a real 3D effect and real skin looking appearance. So that's pretty cool. Alright. And this might conclude today's progress. I'm going to like the guitar bell, but it might not. So. Alright. Hope everybody's having a good end of the week. Yeah, it's near the weekend. It's Friday. Season. Awesome. Awesome. Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing on this ah, pretty cold, beautiful yet cloudy day here in Central Florida? It's in the 40s. Whew. Little late uh, winter blast going on, but I'm not complaining. Seeing how it gets pretty hot here in the summer, but as you can see, it's been time to continue work on the Yoda electric guitar, and I did add some more contour bits like i said i'm not going to sand that i'm going to leave that the way it is and i'm just i'm going to clean up some of the lines of course but any of the the uh, skin parts i'm going to leave the same 
but I am gonna sand his shroud in the sides and the saber. But yeah, it's time to make this guitar beautiful and get it sanded and looking good and maybe put some uh, some dark primer on here today. So let me work a little bit on that. Just wanted to show you how it turned out prior to making, taking it into the next step. Yeah, see that? That looks cool. That's gonna be nice. And I did join the another continuity bit. I joined this line here to that. And then it's kind of because the darker shading of pant color, the tan color is a little bit darker than the lighter here. So, all right, sun's coming out. Wow, wow. Hello. Good morning. How you doing there, son? Yeah, let's see where you go. Oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so let me uh, do a little sanding and I'll see you in a little bit. Completed, and I think it turned out amazing, especially all the contour bits. Look at that, that is just so killer. And we are about ready for some primer coats. Just wanted to show you. See, I left the majority of the uh, the wood grain filler on the hand, you know, all the skin flesh bits, but I did sand it just slightly, so it gives it like that whole 3D appearance. But I did sand all the, you know, the clothing and the lifesaver bits completely flat. But let me show you how, see how the skin tone bits, I still sanded slightly. So it still gives it very cool effect. Gives it like a skin flesh tone kind of appearance. Kind of a 3D effect. Yeah. So I'm going to put it on the hanger. Feels good out here. It's cold, but it feels awesome. Go ahead and see if I missed any spots. But then go ahead and put it on the hanger, and then we'll get some primer coats. And then uh, we'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> see you in a second. Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing? March 20th, 2023. <laughs> Oh, it's a fine, frigid day here in Central Florida. Sun's out, but it is super cold. And sure enough, the dogs have to go crazy. It's the neighbor dogs right when I start to film. So let me, uh... Okay, well, let me go pause a bit. Sorry about that in the background. It's just one of the uh, realities of my life. But I just wanted to show you how well the, uh, the paint and primer coats turned out. That's really cool. Now we're gonna try to put some base colors of paints today. So I'm going to show you how it looks prior to. Looks pretty killer. Looks amazing. <laughs> That's something I love to say. And the contouring uh, with this the other green filler. Ugly face part two will look that good. Alright, so I'm gonna do some base colors. I'm gonna see how far I get. I'm gonna do some uh, sand color and some green. So, and then we'll see how we go. Alright, we'll see in a little bit. Alright, here's paint I'm gonna use. I think I'm gonna start off with the darker tan and go with the lighter tan. And then maybe work some of these other colors in, but I'm gonna hand paint a lot of them. But I'm just gonna spray a couple colors. So, alright, let's see in a little bit. Alright, put the darker color of tan. Looks pretty cool. That's the first color. And of course, it doesn't have to be exactly perfect because all the brush strokes are going to make it look really cool. So, that's the good thing about doing these kind of guitars. As opposed to like a solid body professional, this is uh, straight up art. So, it's going to look cool. The brush strokes actually add to the overall effect. Plus, it's going to be 2K clear coat. So, I'm going to go with the light color of tan. Pretty cool. Alright, got a few base coats of the lighter tan and the darker tan. But I think, you know what, let's try a little green. <laughs> let's try putting a little green on here. So, I'm going to get the green paint out and hand brush some green on some parts and see what happens. But this is going to be a multi-day, multi-layer process if you, if you recall seeing my other ones. But yeah, let me see if I can get this in the light so I can see how cool the, the lighter tan with the darker tan. All right, yeah, and it's filling in all the little minor imperfections and stuff, so it's pretty cool. 
So let me uh, get some green at. Got a little green on there, get a little color. Do some flesh tones. All right, I'll see you in a bit. All right, another quick update. I've got the base colors of paints applied. And do you want to see how it looks? Oh yeah, check that out. <laughs> of course, this is just the first layer, first round. We get actually get it in the light. You can't really see. Yeah, and like I said, this is just the first layer of paints. So uh, once I uh, got a few more layers on there, I think it'll really pop. But yeah, it's looking and starting to come together. Yeah, it's going to take a few more layers of that neon green. But I kind of like the fact that it's not all consistent color with that, with the lifesaver. Because, uh, let's see if I can do this one handed. I'm going to have to go on this side with the lights. But yeah, hold on. Let's see if I can find that. Let me see if I can. Oh, I can't really. Oh. Get it with the proper lighting. Yeah, I could do this front anyway. <laughs> I'll turn the camera around and do the back. But I just wanted to show you. You know, the continuity bits and whatever, whatnot. But yeah, that does look pretty cool. Yeah, and I'm glad I went with the blue eyes because that just really stands out. The blue. But yeah. Alright. I'll take it, definitely take some pictures, but let me see if I can get the camera. Let me uh, flip it around. I'll be right back. Alright, better camera. I got the, my hand in a better position where I can turn it. There we go. That's better. I just did the base color paints on the, the gray and the dark gray. I'll do all the shading and all the touch-up paints and everything like that. This is just the beginning of the process. First layer, of course. But yeah, that looks uh, <laughs> that looks pretty wicked. The force was definitely with me on this one. <laughs> yeah, got some really good shading and some really good angles. Really gives it a really 3D appearance. And of course, when the 2K clear coat goes everything, when I get everything completed, it's gonna make it super glossy. And it's gonna be amazing. All the continuity bits with the toes. <laughs> but yeah, pretty cool. All right, hope everybody's having a good beginning of the week, Monday, huh? Start of the week, but yeah. Yoda electric guitar bell is coming together. That looks cool. <laughs> you can almost hear the theme song for Star Wars, can't you? And it's just the beginning of the Star Wars characters. I can do just about every character they got. And, you know, how many that is, it's a little, quite a bit. So, all right, and we'll see you in a little bit. I know the quick update. Actually, I'm inside the house in a little bit different lighting than outside. I just wanted to show you. First round of base coat paints. Looks pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, I still got to work on the Ninja Warrior number five. Uh, but yeah, can't wait to, you know, and then I'm going to, you know, fill in the lighter color and then do all the shading on the clothing bits. So, all right. Hope everybody's having a good day and we will see you soon. Good morning, everybody. It is March 26, 2023, and it's time to continue work on the Yoda Electric Guitar build. I've come up with a font for the fretboard, and we're going to go with that right there, Yoda. And let me show you what I had in mind. Let's see if I can still... Oh, I closed out that. Oh, well, figures. Anyway, all right, so let me get that going. I'll bring it back. Alright, this is what I'm going for. The font on the fretboard, I think it's going to look pretty bad to the bone. It's going to look awesome. So let me go ahead and work that and get on the uh, print it out and get the proper size and apply it to the fretboard and I'll be right back. Alright, got the fretboard taped off. Yeah, I got the Yoda. <laughs> On the fretboard where I want it so let me apply some paint and fingers crossed everything goes well and we'll see you on the other side of that we'll see you in a little bit 
Very cool. All right, let's see a little bit. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. April 2nd, 2023. Time to continue work on the Yoda electric guitar. I've got the uh, headstock taped off with the logo, the Raglan logo. And we're going to apply some paint on here. And fingers crossed, we'll see you when they get that done. All right, see you in a little bit. All right, quick update. Ah, oh, man, the inlay is looking perfect. Yeah, that turned out really nice. Guess the more times you do it, you better you get at it. But yeah, that looks... And I put a small black border around it. But yeah, that looks cool. I love that font. And with the body. Going to see Pro the band Prolifia tonight in uh, Alabama. Or actually Pensacola. The vinyl in Pensacola. So if you're out and about in that area, come by and say hi. I'll be at the top uh, top level. But uh, yeah, I'll start painting on it and finishing the paint tomorrow. But yeah, I just wanted to get that done today. It looks pretty cool. Alright, hope everybody's having a great weekend. Weekend's almost over, but Yoda guitar is getting there. And then waiting on the rhinestones. And we've got some good projects under there. And there's a neck over there for the Ninja Warrior number six electric guitar build. So I'll just explain that to you when I get to that. But yeah. Alright, and we will see you soon. Turned out awesome. I like that font. All right, quick update. Perfect application of the logo. Looks pretty awesome. And look at that flame mapling. Oh, man, that is so beautiful. I got lucky with this deck. But, yeah. All right, we're good to go. And the Yoda font on the fretboard. And we'll be doing the final touches on the paint today, too. So, And then get ready for some 2K clear coat. And then we'll be good to go for assembly. So, all right. Everybody's having a good weekend, and we will see you soon. All right, another quick update. All the final base colors of paint have been completed. And I just wanted to show you real quick how it all turned out and how everything looks in the end there. Next step is going to be to apply the 2K clear coat. And I'll probably do that in about two days or so, weather permitting. But yeah, it turned out really cool. Let's see if I can. All the shading bits, all the continuity stuff is complete, yeah. It's a very cool, very cool guitar. Yeah. I can't wait for the high gloss 2K clear coat. It's going to really change the appearance of the guitar. Everything's going to be brilliantly bright. And that's going to be very cool. So I hope everybody had a good weekend. <laughs> Starting a new week tomorrow. And we will see you soon. All right. I'll talk to you then. Good afternoon, everybody. It is March 30th, 2023. I just wanted to show you a quick uh, update on the Yoda electric guitar build. I'm working on the shading and everything whatnot, trying to get it how I like it. This is already the second version. I've already, uh, as far as the body and the legs, I've already uh, done it once before and then stripped down the paint again. <laughs> but I'm trying to get it just exactly how I like it. And this is preliminary. Probably going to lighten up some of these colors. And I've got to do the, uh, the back green touch-ups. But as far as the face, I think that's getting pretty close to how I like it and the sword. So just a quick update. <laughs> this one's been to try to dial in exactly how I want it to look. It's been a little tricky. But I think that's not too bad. Just my artistic mind is just, you know, never satisfied. So... But at one point, you know, I've, I've seen, I've, read, I've heard before that no art is ever really finished. It's just what you accept and you walk away and you, you know. So, but I think I like the, uh, the contrast and colors. I was trying to go with a little bit lighter colors on the shading. Turned out a little bit darker than I anticipated as far as the dark bits. And the light bits look fine, but the dark bits might be just a little too... 
too uh, conflict of colors there. I'm not really sure. But I do like the shading on the skin tones on the front. I've got to do wrong. And still working layers of the... So. All right. Hope everybody's having a good uh, sign of the week. And we'll see you in a little bit. All right. One more quick update. Whew, finally got it dialed in. I think this is going to be the final... Uh, final paint on the front. I got to work a little bit more on the back, but yeah, I think it turned out really cool. Yeah, I added some more shading, added some light areas, dulled down the one shading I had on there. But yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. And we're just about ready for the 2K clear coat. I'll let this settle for a day or two, well, probably about three, four days actually. And on the back. I'm gonna do a little bit more touch-ups on the the uh, skin tones, but <coughs> excuse me, and uh, you know it'll have the super high gloss 2K clear coat over it, but yeah, and all the continuity bits. But I think it turned out pretty killer. Yeah, and it's textured as you can see. And when that 2K is on it, it's just gonna be dazzling, glowing. But all right, hope everybody's having a good center of the week. And we will see you on this one. Yeah, it looks really cool. And look at the eyes. He looks mad still. <laughs> he looks really mean. I wouldn't want to fight him. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. Good afternoon, everybody. It is April 5th, 2023. And as you can see, it's time to assemble the Yoda electric guitar. Yeah, it's awesome. It's fun to show you, as always, the, uh, I put a two, uh, can of 2K clear coat on it a couple days ago, and it turned out really cool. Yeah. Let's see if I can get some good, yeah, some good reflections there. Yeah, it's just awesome. Good. That 2K clear cut is just awesome. Alright. <laughs> Looks pretty killer in the light, you know, the better the better lighting. Let's see if I can get some good reflections going on. Yeah. But yeah, pretty smooth. Yesterday wasn't too bad, even though it's been a lot of pollen outside and somewhat windy. Got all the tools, got all my parts, and as always, first thing would be to install, install a ground wire to the binoculometer cavity. So let me go ahead and get a wire, and we'll be in the scene a little bit. Pretty cool. All right, let's see another one. All right, got the ground wire for the bridge pulled through the pedometer cavity. Now it's time to install the bridge. Fingers crossed this goes well, and install the bridge, and we'll be back in a sec. Installation of the bridge it went really smooth. That's always a plus. <laughs> when that goes pretty smooth. All right, next thing I'm gonna get the pickup out, and I'm gonna mount it, and then we'll see when I get that done. See you in a bit. All right, successful seating of the pickup went very smooth. That's always good. <laughs> we got plenty of room to go up and down to adjust, and I pulled the wire through the pedometer cavity. We got plenty of wire coming out. All right, next step is going to be to get my input jack all together and wire uh, hot and a ground to this. So let me get that done and I'll see you in a bit. Alright, got the hot and the ground soldered to the input jack. Let me go ahead and dish it through and install it and I'll see you when I get that done. Alright, successful installation of the input jack and I pull the wires through the pedometer and now I'm going to pre-wire my push-pull pot my coil split and remember we're doing the, the tap tap using the force to split the coil <laughs> so all right so let me pre-wire this and i'll be right back see you in a little bit okay got my coil split pedometer wired up pre-wired i always do this pre-wiring prior to that way it's way easier okay time to flip over the guitar body and then start to work on the uh, the wiring and I'll see you when I get some progress done on that. Okay, see so you in a little bit. All right, everything wired.
pressure through. I push through the push pull pot and install it. Now it's time to flip it over and go for a full on sound test. All right, we made it. All right, let's see how we did. Fingers crossed everything went well. <laughs> All right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, here we go. Full on sound test. All right, as per tradition, we've got both uh, pickups, both coils installed, volume all the way down. Shouldn't get anything. Perfect. Volume all the way up. All right. Yeah, sounds good. All right, let's split the coil. And we should just get top, but no bottom. Perfect. All right, and then if we install both the coils, there we go. All right. Split again. Should get. We're just getting artifact from the metal. We're not getting any scratching. And then, see the difference? Yeah. Cool. All right. We are successfully. All right. Let me clean up all of the non-essentials and then look at the neck out and get everything installed in the neck. And we'll see you in a little bit. All right. See you in a bit. Oh, real quick, I don't know what I was thinking. All right, let me install the, the knob and then the access panel plate in the back and then we'll show you that. We'll see you in a sec. I installed the knob, looks pretty killer. Use the force, Yoda. The coil split force. <laughs> All right, so let me flip it over. And of course, this is plastic still on the pickup, so. All right, flip it over, install the access panel plate. We'll see you in a little bit. All right, get everything pushed in and install the access panel plate it's pretty cool got my fingerprints all over i'll make sure i clean all that up before yeah it's looking pretty good all right so we're gonna go hang this back up and uh, clean up all my mess my non-essentials and then we'll get the neck out and start getting all the stuff on the neck and we'll see in a little bit all right got all the non-essentials cleaned up time to put the uh, string trees and the chain keys on the neck and we'll see when i get that done right. oh i did put a uh, 2k clear coat also on the inlay let me show you that real quick yeah so that turned out really cool that'll protect the color and it'll lock it in so that's good all right we'll see in a little bit all right got the tuning keys and our the string trees and the tuning keys installed and it looks pretty cool Went pretty smooth love that flame maple on this neck all right let me get the body back out and we'll get these two together see how it goes all right we'll see in a little bit all right, as per tradition, we've got both the body and the neck side by side for the first time since they were painted and made beautiful. So, all right, let's get these two together. I don't foresee anything difficult, but you never know. Fingers crossed it goes smooth. It's always good when it goes smooth. All right, we'll see in a little bit. All right, got the neck joined to the body. And it looks really killer. Oh, wow, that is, I know I say this every single time. That's not like a broken record, but that just looks really cool. <laughs> Very awesome. All right, next step is always going to put the two E strings on there. Get everything centered up and dialed up. And I'll see you when I get that done. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty sweet. Such a cool, cool body. That turned out very nice. All right, let's see a little bit. All right, I got the two E strings on and I peeled off the tape on the pickup. And that looks pretty awesome. Everything is within, within the normal ranges. So we are good to go. So let me get the rest of the strings on there and we'll see in a bit. Alright, got all the strings on. Looking pretty awesome. Alright, so let me get out the pitch and let me get a first uh, attempt at a setting everything up. And we'll see in a little bit. It's pretty cool. I'm still going to install the strap buttons, but alright, we'll see in a little bit. Alright, got the strap buttons installed. Looking pretty killer. All right, I uh, got an initial sound test. 
and I'll show you in a second when we let it soak for a little while and then I'll show you the initial setup and sound test. Alright, we'll see you in a little bit. Alright, actually before I give you another sound test on the guitar when it's complete, I'm just going to take a little break. So, I might post this. I might post this. My battery's getting kind of low so i got to put it on the charger too. So, let me go ahead and post this and then put... Good morning everybody, it is April 6th, wow, 2023, and it's time to continue work on the Yoda electric guitar build. Yeah, I'm getting some pretty good reflections here with the 2K clear code. I got it completely dialed in and I just want to do a, a little bit of a sound demonstration. <laughs> Sounds cool. I love that pickup that I use. Get that pickup on eBay. I'll have to share a link, but it's really hot. I think it's like uh, 17 K ohms for the uh, the reading on it. But yeah, turned out really killer. Um, play all the usual bits that I always play. such a small body I mean it does really resonant and uh, do the uh, the Yoda push pull and when it's in the down position of course it's the complete humbucker and then when it's in the up position it's just the the front coil or the neck position coil <laughs> action dialed in completely everything seems to be flowing pretty well there's no issue so far at all um, the neck joint seems to be holding up true um, no paint anomalies nothing happening with the paint the uh, the 2k clear coat dried correctly and it looks really killer um, I really like the way this guitar shape when sitting down you do have to be aware of the lifesaver like right in your face but uh, other than that I mean it's really comfortable your hand <laughs> Pickup definitely has a warmer tone than an active pickup. Here, let me adjust the camera. It's always, oh, jerking out the standing on the input jack. But, uh, <laughs> that's always a thing. Don't want to be jerking out the input jack, but, uh, yeah. It's definitely a little bit warmer sounding. Put a little bit more attack with your pick hand. You can definitely.
Definitely, that pickup definitely has a, a, or like I said, a more of a round, complete sound. It's not completely metaled out like some of the EMG pickups. Let me get the strap. I want to show you what I do with it. There is. I want to show you how it hangs on the strap. But yeah, I am really happy with the way this guitar turned out. It, uh, it's very killer if I can remember where the strap button is. Yeah. from concept drawing to complete the guitar it's always a very cool thing to do and I just wanted to show you where it actually rests on your body like I showed you in the uh, the first uh, sound demonstrations of this guitar back when I was constructing it with the initial sound test because you know you know I always like to make sure that everything is good to go and everything is and it's perfectly intonated and there's plenty of room in the saddle so we got this one definitely right you see the if you can see let me show you the lightsaber doesn't really get near your face too much when it's on the strap so that's that's a plus you don't want to and Yoda does look mad I mean you look at his face he looks pissed I don't know I always thought that this guitar definitely made him mad. <laughs> he's very pissed. But you know, he's getting ready to tear somebody up with a lifesaver. So. And there's other guitars I could be doing like uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. I could do C-3PO, R2-D2, do some of the Sand People. In this era, or this realm, I mean just infinite possibilities. So I think we're going to try to do some more. And the same with the small stature and maybe with some lifesavers. Like we could do a Luke guitar, we can do Darth Vader, I mean, it's just...
song we used to play back in the day. Anyway, just wanted to give you a quick, a quick demonstration of how this guitar sounds and plays. Stay tuned for the full uh, photo shoot and up close and personal video and then of course I'll post the entire build on my YouTube channel so you can see but thank you everybody who followed me on this journey to create the Yoda electric guitar it uh, exceeded my expectations turned out really killer and uh, in the light, the neon green of the lightsaber really kind of, I'll try to capture some of that when I do the photo shoot. But yeah, I am happy. And like I keep saying, this is just the beginning of my guitar journey, so stay tuned to this Facebook page, and you'll see many more to come. All right, hope everybody's having a good center of the week. Love the flame mapling on that neck. Sometimes you get lucky. Like I said, this is a uh, next. I buy my necks on Amazon or eBay, and that flame mapling that turned out really, really pretty killer. But all right, may the force be with you and all that you do. And we will see you soon. All right, see you in a little.